This is Info Live TV Headline News. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. A Lebanese newspaper released a report on Monday identifying Ali Jara as the Lebanese citizen who was recently arrested for allegedly spying on behalf of Israel. According to the report, Jara was a member of the Fatah Intifada, a faction of Fatah backed by Syria operating within Lebanon. Jara confessed to being recruited by Israeli intelligence in the mid 1980s to gather information on Palestinian organizations active in Lebanon and Syria and said that in recent years he had been tasked with monitoring the movements of senior Hezbollah officials. While Lebanese authorities are investigating the possibility that he had been involved in the assassination of Hezbollah master terrorist Imad Mugnia, thus far no evidence has been uncovered which would suggest the spy's involvement. According to a report released on Sunday, Ofer Deco, the chief Israeli official responsible for negotiations over Gilad Shalit, met 11 days ago with senior Hamas figures incarcerated in Israel's Hadarim prison. Deco briefed the Hamas leaders on the indirect Egyptian-mediated talks over the abducted soldier. The reports say that Deco met with Nasser Issa, Revhi Mustaha, and Abbas Sayyid, whose names also appear on the list of prisoners Hamas is demanding to be released in exchange for Shalit. The Committee of Samaria Settlers is set to file a complaint against Vice Premier Chaim Ramon and National Infrastructure's Minister Benjamin Ben Eliezer, claiming that the remarks made by the two during a cabinet meeting on Sunday constituted incitement against the settler community. During the meeting, Ben Eliezer and Ramon railed against the settlers' use of violence, with Ramon calling the settlers racist and Ben Eliezer calling them messianic, satanic, and irrational. In a moment of Israeli political history, a new right-wing party that brings together four existing factions has been inaugurated at the Knesset on Monday. The new party, which is a merger of the National Union, the National Religious Party, Tkuma, and Moledet, has pledged to lead a new national agenda taught by Jewish education, Jewish identity, social welfare, and settlement expansion. The party's members said they were seeking the public's participation in choosing a name for the new party. Bank of Israel Governor Stanley Fisher said on Monday that Israel's economy is well-placed to weather the financial turmoil that has rocked world markets due to his relatively conservative banking system. He said that the closely supervised Israeli banks have largely steered clear of risky investments in complex financial instruments that have burned banks elsewhere. Fisher added that in 2009, Israeli economic growth is expected to slow to 2.7 percent, compared to the 4.5 percent growth the country experienced this year. Thank you for watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet television channel that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.